southern parts of England, Northern Ireland and Scotland during Saturday evening, Saturday night and at first on Sunday as we see gales or severe gales coming in from the west or northwest with gusts over 70 miles an hour bringing atrocious driving conditions and also minor structural damage. So watch this space during the coming 12 to 18 hours to receive updated information. At the present time, the pressure chart is showing very little, just a weak cold front over the southern part of Britain. But by midday tomorrow, we'll have the very deep area of low pressure, which will bring that nasty weather steaming in towards Northern Ireland and Scotland, then up rushing across the northern part of the country during the evening and night before it pushes its way into the North Sea and scoots over into Scandinavia during Sunday, leaving us in cold, blustery weather coming in from the west or northwest. At the present time, we have a scattering of showers over Northern Ireland and Scotland, mainly of sleet or snow. Those continuing for the rest of the night, bringing some drifting of snow over the higher ground of Northern and Central Scotland. Elsewhere, the cloud mainly breaking in England and Wales. There's still some left in the extreme south later on, with the odd spot of light rain or drizzle here by the end of the night. Relatively mild in the south, but a much colder night than last night in the north. Temperatures around 1 to 3 degrees, and it will remain windy with gales coming in from the west. And those gales still around early tomorrow over Scotland. And as we go to midday, little change. But as we go into the afternoon, we'll see those gales coming in from the southwest over Northern Ireland and Scotland, and with severe gales during Saturday night over much of Scotland. Tomorrow we'll start off dry and bright over much of England and Wales and Scotland. Still some windfish showers packing their way in over Scotland. And then in the afternoon, thicker cloud coming into the west, bringing driving rain into Northern Ireland and much of Scotland, but with blizzards over the higher ground of Scotland there, bringing atrocious driving conditions.